Honey, you're gonna be late. What are you doing? Mom, I don't wanna go. How many times have we been over this? You're going, not get dressed. I don't like Molly. You're going. I'm not gonna ask you again. Fine. Put up your hair. I'll be waiting downstairs. You know, I asked you to get ready half an hour ago. Why do you do this to me? Why do you do this to me? School of Business, on the side of campus, fourth floor. What? Yes, Marnova has a school of business. It's not just for the ballet. Well, I not know that. <laughs> decaf? You seem like a decaf type of girl. Thank you. My duty. Oh my god. Right? Yeah, there's no way that's natural. She's like this. Maybe she's really fit, you know? Maybe she works out every day? Fit? No. It's called an eating disorder. Look it up. That's why Holly's always sick. One time I had a pet goldfish who died from an eating disorder. His name was Gordo. Shut up, Jasmine. Well, you really got her pissed at you. I know, and I don't even know what I did. She just comes in here yelling at me at the top of her lungs saying, I know it was you, and then storms out. What does that even mean? I don't know. Whatever, I don't want to talk about it. Why doesn't she ever talk to anyone? Who, Natalie? Yeah, let's go talk to her. I'm not sure that's such a great idea. Why? Maybe she doesn't talk to anyone because she doesn't want to. Come on. She's pretty focused on her stretching. It's just stretching, come on. Wait, did you say something about me? What? You guys practice together, right? You talk? Did you say something? I don't... She doesn't even know me. I don't even know her. Hey! Hi. What up? I'm stretching. I'm focused here. Natalie, right? Yes. And you are? Cassandra. Nice to meet you, Cassandra. What's your deal? Sorry? I don't even know you. You don't even know me, okay? So next time you want to say something about me, walk over to me and say it to my face. Got it? I'm afraid I don't know what you're talking about. Guys. Everybody shut up! We're starting. Mariella left a sheet of paper saying we need to rehearse for the winter showcase, whatever the hell that means. I went to it last year, you know? There's yeah, actually, that's great. Like, a ton of it says we need to split up into separate groups. Separately? Yeah, you dumb shit, I just said that. What are the groups? It's me, Lila, and the Spanish one. Holly, who's sick again, there's a shock. Jasmine and Skylar, and you. What? That's not fair. I didn't write it. Yeah. It says we have one week to choreograph and perfect our performances. It also says that Anna. That's me. Yeah. You have to do the move that you messed up in auditions. Whatever the hell that means. All right, let's get to work. Dad, I'm home! It's 
It's about time. Can you pass me the remote? I've been watching this shit for the last five hours. How's your day? Terrible. Did you do anything? What kind of question is that? You know I work. I met. Did anything extraordinary happen today? No. Oh. Any mail? Yeah, by the door. You guys are stressing me out. This isn't original. It needs to be original. It needs to be wow. It needs to be unpredictable. You know, it's hard. I have a knee injury. It's not that hard. Fine. You come up with something then. Fine. Okay, we have to get right down to business. Okay, calm down. You can't dance ballet with your shoulders so tense. Loosen up. Why do you have to criticize me like that? I'm not criticizing you. Guys, why do you always have to argue? I guess some people just don't know how to get along with other people. So we've been here how long and we still have nothing? She's right. But what do you suggest? We try harder, that's what we do. Try what harder? What we do best. Okay, so we have a great intro, but we can't get past it. What do we do? Scrap the intro. Are you kidding me? We spent the last two hours working on that intro. Scrap the intro and come up with something new. Okay, now our thought process is just moving backwards. Sometimes you have to move backwards to start moving forwards. And we have all night. All night? I'm leaving at five. I'm not staying here any longer than I'm forced to. What's your issue? I don't have an issue. This is gonna be so difficult. How was it? Good. Why are you talking like that? Like what? Like somebody just died. Liven up. What did you do? We just worked on our sets again. That sounds like fun. Why do I have to keep doing this? It takes up all my time. My friend Michelle said that she has time to watch TV when she's done with her homework. I can't even finish my homework. Honey, that's why Michelle is fat. What? Okay, don't repeat that. I want to watch TV. No, you don't. TV makes you dumb, sweetheart. Well, she also has time to play tag with her friends. I can't do that either. Listen, I danced ballet for 25 years. The only reason I stopped was because of my injury. It is hard. I get it. But trust me when I tell you that it's all worth it. Besides, don't you want to be able to take your daughter to ballet one day? You can go see her rehearsals, her recitals. It'll be something the two of you have in common. I guess so. Good. Now let's go get some dinner. You don't like her, but could you at least try to be able to work with her? Yes, it's true. I don't like her. But that's not why I have problems working with her. She contradicts any input that I give. Maybe she just thinks that her way is better and you think that your way is better. Different mindsets. That's not just something you can deal with. I'm just asking you to keep an open mind. Open mind equals an awful dance. Okay, look. I'm I don't just... think you realize this, but this is our first performance at Marnova. This is where other classes see us and judge us based on our performance. If it sucks, then to them, we suck. I don't know about you, but I can't not be viewed as an amateur at this. It has to be perfect. Hey, it's almost midnight. I think I'm gonna call it a night. I'm staying here. Okay, good night. And then she was like, I don't know who you are. And I was like, well, what do you mean? We live in the same city. How stupid is she? Shut up, Jasmine. Hi, Elliot. Morning, Janine. Oh, hey, decaf. Wait up. <laughs> My name isn't decaf. I know, I just never got your name yesterday. Anna, two N's. Well, here's your decaf, Anna, with 
two N's. Thank you. <laughs> Coffee boy. Elliot, that's with two L's and one T. Oh, wait, do I have to pay for this? Oh, no, the school takes care of it. Oh, okay. Well, then I'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow, that's with one M and two R's. You should join a spelling bee. I'd kick ass. That's with one A and two S's. Maybe she started doing drugs. Maybe she got laid. I'm just saying, she's way too happy. I saw her coming out of her office all giddy. I'm telling you, it's drugs. If it was drugs, it would explain the marks that I saw on her arm. Track marks? There's no way she's doing heroin. I'm just saying, I saw marks on her arm. Maybe there were freckles. Shut up, Jasmine. So how'd last night go? What? Look at you, you're all fidgety. What are you talking about? You're totally blissful. Did you hook up with someone last night? No. Well then why? Wait, coffee boy? What? Yeah, I saw you two flirting it up. We were just having a conversation. He's cute. You should go for him before I do. Please don't make a big deal out of this. Why? I'm just teasing. But seriously, this is an all-girls dance company, and he's the only guy who shows his face on this side of the campus. There's some fierce competition. It doesn't matter. I don't care that much. I'm just teasing. Sorry, I don't have time for this. I need to go stretch. attention everyone. She's one pound overweight. What do you think we should do to punish her? You want us to punish her? Yes. Why? I don't think she should be punished for being medically overweight. Any suggestions? Ideas? Well, then I guess I have to take this into my own hands. Miss Lynn, do you think you're the first one to uh, threaten me? I I'm serious! So is everyone else. Okay, so I took the liberty to create rehearsal schedules for our piece. This needs to be the best performance any of us have ever done. This isn't your first time doing this, Anna. Yeah, well, I can't tolerate that. You heard what she said. Either you stay or you're out. I could find another academy. No, by out? She means out of the business. She can make it possible for you to never get in anywhere. I, I can't do this. This is crazy. What? This rehearsal schedule, it's all over the place. Would you guys cut it out? I'm not doing this. Especially not with you. We'll have different rehearsal times. Fine by me. You can have her first. I'm leaving to make it easier for you guys. Natalie. What do you mean? I dropped her off. I didn't see her. Let me check. Yeah, she was marked absent. It must be a mistake. I'll go check it out. I'm sorry. Angie said that she never showed up. What are you saying? I dropped her off. She never came. 
What work could she be? I, I don't know. I'll go check the dressing room. I know where she is. It's me. Why do people want this so bad? I had a friend named Lizzie. She was at Kirkland. And she got so mad when I was invited to audition. And I didn't realize that she wanted to get invited too. She didn't like Kirkland. She doesn't like Kirkland. She wanted to climb the ladder to fame but so do so many other people. And I feel like if everyone's trying to climb the same ladder, it'll just break, you know? Are you ready? I think I'm going crazy. You're not crazy. Ugh. How was it with Cassandra? It was good. Well, no, it actually wasn't. We didn't really get a lot done. She stresses me out. I swear if something is finished, it'll be her fault. Are you ready? Yeah. John, listen to me. Listen to me, John. You can't do this. You can't do this to me. I've worked in that same tiny cubicle for the last 23 years. And you have the nerve to call me on the phone to fire me? You gotta be kidding me. You can't even come and say to my face, I've given you everything. No, no, stop talking. No, shut up. I wanna tell you something that I want you to remember for the rest of your life. Don't let anybody control your life. You control it. You take care of it. I don't want your life ending up like a mess like mine. Understood? Yes. Hey, we need to talk. Why? Because I can't do this. I can't work with you, and then when you leave, work with Natalie. I already told you. I can't dance with her. I can barely have conversations with her. She's ridiculous. Well, you're gonna have to do it anyway. She's hypocritical. She's hypocritical? What about you? What about me? See, you get defensive about the littlest things. You just called me hypocritical. Well... Well what? Well, you can be hypocritical. I can be hypocritical. When have I been hypocritical? The first day we met. You told me never to cry in front of anyone. You said it looks weak. Then when Mariella insulted that stupid jacket you always wear, you started crying in front of everybody. I don't get it. You're right. You don't get it. I cannot believe you. How long have you been doing that? Doing what? Skipping practice? Not long. You know I pay for those classes, right? And they're not cheap. I was just tired and I wanted to read my magazine. Enough with the magazines, okay? Those things just be hey! in your head. You will practice ballet when you're supposed to. It's how things work in life. I'm sorry that I don't like ballet. Honey, look at me. I just want us to have something in common. I want us to get along. I know. From now on, no more skipping ballet. I drop you off, you go right into the studio, okay? Yes. Good. I just don't want you turning out like Mom, a Rather see you than me. That's true. 
hurry up. We have stuff to do. Hey, 